So what you're about to see is a montage of Jimmy McGill being an awesome lawyer that he really cares and is really passionate about his clients. And part of the montage is uh, Bob Odenkirk doing uh, playing Jimmy McGill in a courtroom. And we wanted to cover a lot of different scenes. And so we did a lock off camera and we had different defendants and, and um, different prosecutors and we uh, changed everybody up and we had Jimmy, uh, Bob, uh, entering an exit in different angles. So it just looked like and changed his wardrobe. So it looked like it was happening over a period of time. Um, but there wasn't scripted dialogue. Normally these, these scripts are, are completely, everything is completely scripted ahead of time. Uh, but in this case, case, because it was just going to be music over top, I said to Bob, look, you can say whatever you want to do. And, and um, I gave Bob some different scenarios and then just let him go. And action. We've all been cold. And this lady was cold. Okay, let's start. Bob, let's go back. It looks like your, your, right. your sound pack stuck in here. Oh, shit. Your, yeah. Okay. It's, it's on its way. <laughs> All right, here we go. And action. Okay, so a fire was started. We're agreeing to that. And she was in the house that was on fire. Uh, but there was someone else in the house, too. Her pet gerbil. And you guys have seen pictures. And the There's no jury. Sorry, Bob. But, oh, shit. Yeah, well, okay. You're the You've jury. seen the pictures of the little animal, and it was her only, you know, love. Like, there's no one else in her life. No children, no relatives, no aunts or uncles. She came here by herself from Luxembourg, and she rode uh, part of the way on a canoe, and that was in Germany, right? But think about how hard she worked to get to this country only to have her most precious, beloved animal freezing, freezing, shivering as she is now. And she set a fire. Okay. She was in her neighbor's house, admittedly not the right place, but that's where the wood was. And, you know, what was she going to do? Go down to Home Depot and purchase wood so she could warm things up? Right side she had no time. She had to think fast. She did side. think fast. What, what right do you have to judge her? What right do you have to judge her? What, because you uh, pass some test and you have a robe? Ridiculous, ridiculous. Look, I'm on her side. I'm going to stand with her, and she's shivering right now. And I think it's out of fear. It's not out of cold, because we're all muggy in here. Don't make notes. Don't make notes like you're thinking. This guy over here, you know, the, the wise apple uh, smile on his face like he's a real smart aleck. You know, you're going to listen to him or you're going to listen to this lady? Look at her. Look at her. You know what she does all day? She tries to stay warm. Bob, come up to you. you got to work this side of the What? You oh, work this I, I, I can only come to here. No, no, no. No, no, no. I'm out of frame if I keep no, going. No, come on up. Come on up. Tell me when he, when he hits edge of frame there. Yeah, okay. Right now. okay. So just, just make sure. What about up in here? Okay. So, yeah. There you go. Look, right. the fire didn't start itself. We're admitting that, right? The wood didn't light itself on fire. She lit the fire. Admit it. Nod your head. You lit the fire. She was cold. Right? Shivering. Look at that shivering that's going on right now. It's a real show. Over here, you got two people. They got plenty of clothes, probably long underwear on. So they're not cold. <clears throat> Look, I'm going to give you some credit. You probably went to college, right? <laughs> you... <laughs> that's great. Okay. All right, let's be the next group. Baker 53, Apple Taker. Yes, I would like to speak. Um, Rico, um, his uh, Christian name is uh, George L. Pastis. Stole one egg. Okay, we all know that. That's 
been entered into evidence. You've seen the egg. Uh, you brought it in. Yeah. And it's a great egg, double, whatever, double-sized egg. It's a normal egg, a little larger than normal. Okay. So we all know that that's what he did. But why did he do it? For fun? For a laugh? I don't think so. Because there was a list in his pocket at the time that he was caught by the police listing flour, butter, caraway seeds. Bobby, you go when right I, down behind your client, okay? All right. Listen. I want you to take note, Judge. This was the holiday season, okay? Can you guess what Rico was going to make with the egg that he stole? He was going to make cookies. Cookies. All right? Now he's going to make a thing called a holiday snap. His grandmother made them. He told me this. He was drunk at the time. It was so hard to get the truth out of him. He didn't want to admit that he had a purpose for the egg. I think it's because he's a man. And in his society, where he's from, which is... Um, Alsace-Lorraine. Do you know where that place is? It's a place between France and Germany, and uh, they're very macho. I think you can tell he's a macho man. Well, uh, actually, Look. Actually, actually, <laughs> 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 it's four. Right. Come back in, okay? right. <laughs> Look. All right. You can come right down. All right. You, can come you want right me to just to the facade, like facade. Go between right. the judge, the uh, the uh, police. Like you can go right down in there, okay? And then come up, Bob, and exit right off the frame, and then enter back in, okay? All right. When you're ready. Come up, yeah. I'm, I'm going to talk from back here so I'm near to the exit because if I run out of words to say, I want to be able to make a quick getaway. Rico did not make a quick getaway, and that's why he was caught with an egg. Big deal. Right? What do the kids say? BFD. I don't want to bring that word. I don't want to bring that word into the courtroom, no, right? And to re-enter tight to Frank right. doing something, okay? So I'm hoping that you can see that this man who lives alone, has no community supporting him, chose to make some cookies for the holidays. And I hope that you'll see that that makes him better than you. That's all I have to say. And these two are laughing. Okay? And I think that it just shows you the timber of their metal. They clearly grew up in homes with very little uh, book learning or ethical learning. You know, put it to bed. All right. So that's all I have to say. Possibly they grew up in a home in a halfway house with roused about. <laughs> <laughs> Baker 53, Baker take one. What you see before you is just a hardworking American. I mean, right now, he's a scared man. But look, he, he, he did something wrong and he admitted it. He admitted it. He, in fact, wrote a book about it. Probably shouldn't have done that. <laughs> no one would have known. But don't you think he deserves some credit? for having shared his story with the world. 
Peter Machine Gun Dolan is a nice Christian man. Now, we've established that. His nickname, Machine Gun, is not a reference to, uh, well, the gun, right? <laughs> Well, it's, it's a name he inherited right from his grandfather. What's that? Exit top right again, okay? Yes. Enter, cross over, and exit left, and then come in again, okay? It's a nickname that he inherited from his grandfather, who was indeed a gun runner and uh, was a very, very evil man. But Peter is not that, okay? That man's dead. You can go visit his grave. Uh, your grandfather's dead, isn't he, Peter? Okay. Okay. Uh, the real machine gun was an enforcer for the mob, admittedly, okay? Write it down. That was his grandpa. He is an accountant, okay? And he didn't file his own taxes. A bonehead move, admittedly. And then he wrote a book about it. Guess what I did? I didn't pay taxes for the last 20 years. Go all the way to the independent side of the table. A lot of people would say that... It's a very long name for a book. Your publisher should have had you uh, edit it down. But to what? I don't pay taxes. It doesn't matter. However you slice it, you admit it in your own book that you don't pay taxes and you're proud of it. Well, guess what? Here we are now. Okay? So here's what I'm saying to you, Judge. Leaving aside the house he burned down and the dogs that he... Uh, fathered <laughs> illegally. Okay, okay, okay. They cut, it, cut it, cut it, cut it. Cut.